Good morning! I hope you both slept well last night. Juana, I could give a rat's ass, but I hope you're all well prepared, because today we are going to do work for Kaisar! I know, shocker, right? Away, true to Kaisar. Away, true to Kaisar, yes! We're gonna be doing some things for a group that calls themselves the Great Khans. Yet another tribe of inbred idiots who will be assimilated into Kaisar's Legion. The strongest will be absorbed, and the weakest will be executed. But we're not gonna let them in on that part. Because they think they are going to be propped up to glory. They're in for a rude awakening. Eventually! Today we're just gonna go along with it. It's quite convenient that Good Springs is on the way. After all, I've only got 48 spears left. I'm getting a little low. Hey! Ah! I, of course! Of course! I can't go anywhere without being ambushed by mobsters! This is on you, Joe! Oh, sorry! That hiding spot was taken! This is on you, Joanna! I'm just gonna keep throwing poison- Oh god, that's a powerful rifle! I think he just one-shotted me! Now is the time, Joanna! Time to put that weapon to good use! Also stand in front of me! Be my meat shield! Cause this is all your fault anyway! Oh god, he popped me again! Everybody rush him at once! He can't take on all four of us! There we go. The, uh, that's a powerful weapon you've got there. And now it's mine. We're just gonna let his body rot out here underneath the baking sun. Right next to the remains of Trudy the Bartender and that powder ganger who really sucked in that initial confrontation. But let's keep going because the great cons wait for no man. This is the one. This is Red Rock Canyon. And you can tell because there's the con insignia in front. As well as their mascot. Hey, I'm Borskull, the skin puppet. <laughs> oh, those adorable cons. Welcome to Red Rock Canyon. Since you've done so much for the great cons, Papa Con told me to let you know you can buy weapons at our armory. No way. You can find it in the basement of the burned out building at the mouth of the canyon. That's Awesome. I appreciate you letting me know. Papa Khan is the person I've come here to see. Papa says cut off the head and the snake will die. I guess the chairman's days are numbered. Papa sounds like the kind of person I could really talk to, if I could find him. The NCR won't know what hit them. You must be Papa Khan, obviously, sitting at the head table. Seems like everybody with a stake in the Mojave is gearing up for something big. I don't want to be sexist, but with a name like Papa Khan, I expected you to look a little more intimidating. I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the Great Khans? I wanted to talk to Papa Khan. What do you know about this person? Papa is one of the best leaders the Khans have ever had. He's kept us together through all of our hardships ever since we left California. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes, I worry that's poisoned his mind. It sounds perfectly reasonable to me. NCR killed a bunch of cons. Papa Khan hates the NCR. I probably shouldn't be saying anything. But it seems Papa's been making decisions based more on his desire for revenge than what's good for the tribe. This alliance with Caesar, for one thing. I have my doubts about it. We need unquestionable loyalty. What kind of doubts are you having? I just don't trust the words of Caesar's ambassador that much. He's promising a lot, and I don't see the advantage for him. It makes me suspicious. It sounds like the ambassador isn't doing a very good job. So your opinion of the NCR isn't bitter hatred? That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people, to be sure. And I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. So, if you were in charge of the tribe, you'd fight with the NCR against Caesar? I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now, and he's not going anywhere. If you're the second in line for the throne, but you don't support the Legion, I'll keep that in mind. Until next time. Yes, fare thee well. I'll need to speak to the Ambassador. I remember the Chairman from their tribal days. They were punks then, they're punks now. You're not Papa Khan, are you? You're an imposter! Get out of his chair! There he is, the man himself. You'll be happy to know I've taken out your usurper. So the cub enters the wolf's den. What do you want, cub? 
I wouldn't mind having some of those snazzy sunglasses. Are you Papa Khan? I am the chief of the great Khans. The Khan of Khans, if you like. This is my tribe, and these are my people. Now tell me about your people. When the NCR came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. We raided their caravans, their towns, their camps. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. When our children, our sick and old, fled through a nearby pass, the NCR gunned them down. The NCR pretends to be honorable, and yet they're no better than savage thugs. It's because of that that we have sworn to take revenge on the NCR. With our new allies in Caesar's Legion, we will crush them. I'm here to make sure that the alliance with Caesar's Legion is still rock solid. If anyone came to you to break the alliance, surely you would not be inclined to agree. Let's say, for example, that some liar came up to you and said that Kaiser would enslave everybody in your tribe. You wouldn't believe them, would you? Ha! The great Khans will not be slaves. Caesar himself has promised us the land from here to the Colorado and the freedom to raid as we see fit. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The great Khans will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. You don't know how happy that makes me. Farewell. Fair- Yeah. Fare thee well. Enjoy your shish kebab. Ah, the legionary emissary arrives to take his place at the table. Overslept, have we? Ah, the vaunted hero of the legion. What can I do for you? I don't believe we've met. My name is Carl. Glorious Caesar has sent me as an emissary to the great Khans as a token of our alliance. Tell me more of this alliance. In exchange for great Caesar's promise of all the lands west of New Vegas, the Khans have agreed to fight alongside the Legion when the time comes. Do you think the Legion could make good use of the great Khans? Though they have been cruelly oppressed by the NCR, the Khans remain great warriors. The Legion is honored to have such allies in battle. What's your personal opinion of this group of raiders? They're a tribe of fine warriors with many proud traditions and a glorious history. They will be worthy additions to the Legion. Yes, additions to the Legion. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Because we're going to wipe out their tribal identity and assimilate them. You wouldn't happen to have any work for me, would you? Yes. Very well. Whisper it in my ear. I will do what you need me to do. Don't look. I heard you try to convince Papa Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. I, I wasn't trying to convince him to leave. I was just inquiring. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great Khans, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. Because he is. Allying with Kaisar is the only chance to save this tribe. Not to insist that this tribe is weak or anything. Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular. Me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. But I suppose no matter what I do, you're already convinced to fight on the NCR side? I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. No. No, you're mistaken. That's not true. The Legion doesn't do that. Rip a tribe to shreds and take the best parts, leave the rest to be eaten by wolves. That's ridiculous. I see. Then the Great Khans will fight for the Legion should Caesar give the call. Yup. Okay. You take it easy. That guy is 100% a liability. We'll need to deal with him later. Let's meet these other three people and see if we can convince them to fight for the Legion. Whoa. New guy. That's me. I'm new here. Tell me what you do around here, Jack. Do? We don't, like, do anything. We make the magic happen. Can this magic be used in combat? We make the happy stuff. What do you need? Jet? Psycho? A little Med-X to ease the pain? Oh, I see. You're drug dealers. Well, you'll be happy to know that Kaisar approves of drugs in all shapes and sizes. He really loves drugs and having drugs in the Legion. Look, man, me and Diane, we don't dig on that politics stuff, Savvy. We just make the product and make it get to a good home. 
Sure, Caesar's a drag, but as long as we've got each other, we don't care who the top dogs roll with. Take it easy, dude. Yeah, back at ya. And you must be his counterpart? You're not one of my regulars. What do you want? Jack said that you and he are drug dealers. We're supplying things people want in exchange for things our tribe needs. Don't judge us. I would never do such a thing. Unless you're selling to the NCR, then I will judge you quite harshly. A lot of our business comes from the fiends lately. Personally, I think they're kind of creepy. But Papa likes the fact they get all hopped up on Psycho and harass the NCR patrols. That does amuse me to no end. I could see myself allying with the fiends if they didn't attack me on sight. But enough about me. I'm here to ask you about Kaisar. What do you think of him? Even with Jack working all the time and my runners making deliveries daily, we're barely getting by. Maybe this alliance with Caesar will help, but I don't know. What? Why are things so tough for you right now? Red Rock Canyon isn't exactly the most hospitable place. There's no food, barely any water, and nothing anybody wants. We used to send patrols out to acquire supplies, but ever since Bitter Springs, there just aren't enough of us left. That's a real tragedy, isn't it? Those damned NCR soldiers killing all those innocent cons? I'll consider that two people allied with Kaisar. I guess two to go? Really one to go and one to assassinate. What do you want now? Tell me about the great cons. We're an independent group. We take care of our own and don't take crap from anybody. Especially the NCR. Yeah, I heard about what happened between you and the NCR. How they slaughtered a bunch of innocent people must make you really angry. Women and children died when the NCR attacked the Great Khans there. And the NCR just pretends it never happened. Well, it sounds like I really don't have to do anything to stoke the fire in your heart. Don't leave a trail. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Let's return to Red Rock Canyon, because our work is done here. That's three down and one to go, and even though that second-in-command said he was on the Legion side, can't say I trust him. He sounded quite unsure of himself, so we'll find out which of these tents is his, and we'll just lay an ambush. It looks like he spends a lot of his spare time reading books, and I wonder if any of those books tell him how to disarm landmines. I suspect not. Yes. He is not going to know what hit him, but I will. It'll be a deadly book. Sure, boss. The old man will crawl around in the dirt to keep hidden. We're on a stakeout, Raul. Crawling around in the dirt is kind of what that entails. Although, I have to admit, I was hoping he'd be out by now. If the sun goes down, it'll be difficult to get a visual read on this guy. I suppose I could have just walked up to the table and stabbed him in the face, but that might have put our fragile alliance at risk. And we're here to solidify that alliance, so doing things slowly and cautiously, that's just how we have to do it sometimes. Oh, I see movement. Is that him? No, I don't think that's him. I think it's somebody else. I'm getting a little antsy. Waiting for results, but patience is a virtue. Good things come to those who wait. Oh, my game just glitched. Okay, that could not have been poorly timed, even worse. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he went into his tent and then laid down on top of the landmines and didn't set them off somehow. So, I guess we're going to have to do this ourselves. Now, I do have this sniper. Ah! And here I thought I'd have to get involved. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh my lord, did you hear that explosion? Something must have gone on while I was away. Oh no, this guy is dead. Who will poison Papa Kind's mind now? What more do you want? Nobody should interfere with your mission anymore. On a side note, why don't you petition Papa Kind for membership? Perhaps even lead this tribe to victory when the time for battle comes? Oh, no, I, I simply couldn't. That is, I'm not worthy of such an honor. You give yourself too little credit. Surely a warrior in service of Kaisar is the equal of any of these tribes' finest. Of course I am. That is to say, Caesar has many fine warriors, and I wouldn't wish to compare them to the great Khans. Exactly. Both groups are equally powerful and respectable. The Khans and the Legion are basically one and the same. Enough! 
How dare you compare Caesar's finest to this tribe of savages? Whoa, hey, wait. The mightiest great Khan is scarcely a match for a legion recruit. Shh, sh keep your mouth down. The burned man would leave their mightiest shitting themselves in terror. What are you doing? I would. That is... Uh, I think you fucked the dog on this one, Carl. Great Khans, drive Caesar's dog out of our camp. If he's too slow to flee, kill him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's... Um... That could have gone better. I like you, stranger. You've stood by us when not many would. Because that was all a test. He wasn't an actual legionary. He was a spy. A double agent set by the NCR to make you think all legion are backstabbers. But clearly we're not since I'm still on your side. And I would never harm a great Khan. Oh my god, Regis is dead. I don't know anything about that. Okay, I think I've smoothed things over with Papacon. He's still on the Legion side. No thanks to you, Joanna. You almost blew it back there. This is all your fault. You are really useless, Joanna. You're nothing but dead weight. I don't know why I brought you along. Uh, what's this? Joanna is sick of people like you abusing her for their own profit. She is clear-headed enough to recognize you for the scumbag you are and has turned hostile, and her rage at all that has recently befallen her is also now being unleashed, significantly improving her combat accuracy and damage. Uh-oh, this is not good. Uh, she's also a spy for the NCR! Somebody put her down! She's good? Whoa, whoa! Good. Yeah. All right. Everybody calm down. The threats yeah. are gone. There's no more NCR in the building. They're all dead. I don't even know why I bother to put these collars on if they don't respect them. There's a collar on. You're my slave. That's what the collar means. You don't attack your master because you got the collar on. The collar. Respect the collar. Well, we lost our slave companion, but we've preserved this alliance, so... Overall, a net positive. It's not a failure, so it's got to be a success, right? We'll just call it a success and go. I got seven Mac 11s, about eight 38s, nine nines, ten Mac 10s. The shits never end. You can't touch my riches, even if you had MC Hammer and the 357 bitches. Biggie Smalls, the millionaire, the mansion, the yacht, the two weed spots, the two hot glocks. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I don't know. I was waiting for you to get here. What's up? Is that all you do is sit in your office and wait for me? No, I had you penciled in for an appointment. <laughs> is that what you have penciled in? Mike walks in unannounced at 3.47 p.m.? Well, let's see. Hang on. Uh, 3.45. Continue singing rap. 3.47. Mike walks in unannounced and interrupts me in the middle of Biggie Small's rap. Yep, that's what I had written down. Okay, I'm not gonna question how you have psychic powers. The Great Cons are definitely on our side. They kind of suck though, don't they? Yeah, they suck. Is there room for improvement? Not really, because we're gonna use them as meat shields at the Battle of Hoover Dam. Now, speaking of meat shields, I've lost another slave. You lost another one? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of becoming a running theme for ah, me. come on, man. I'm having a difficult time finding replacements. Have you gotten Sunny Smiles broken yet? Sunny, sunny, sunny smile. Oh god, oh god, no! Oh, she- Yeah, she broke free and killed four of our guards. But then you put her down? No, we have no idea where she is. On an unrelated note, uh, you might want to disguise your face when you leave the building. Uh, yeah, on an unrelated note, I'm probably gonna be target number one! Nah, you're probably fine. Y oh, you sure she's not gonna be my mortal enemy or anything? Yeah, she hasn't killed me yet! I also haven't left the building. Have oh, you... I should try standing up. Hang wait, on. wait, wait, don't- don't try standing up! Let me examine that chair. Oh my god, there's a pressure sensitive bomb on your chair! Ah! Oh wait, wait. No, that's a, that's a flight data recorder I put down there. Why? I, so I could analyze my flight data later for logistical reasons. You just don't want to admit that you had a bomb placed on your chair while you weren't paying attention. No. Hey Dick, how good are you at defusing bombs? I'm sorry, I, I majored in flower arranging at college. I have no idea how to defuse an explosive device. I assume flower arranging is exactly like bomb defusal. Just do a little snip here, a little snip there, and everything's perfect, right? Dick Good is unsure and feels like he's going to be sick. Wait a minute. Why am I so worried? I never leave this chair anyway. Well, 
Little God, he got the shot at you, your body, so don't resist or you might miss Christmas. Give the MCs guns dripping. When I throw my clip in the AK, I slay from far away. Everybody hit the D-E-C-K. Nah, that's terrible. Never mind. <laughs>